will automate data scientist job family. This is something that we all have heard by now and it's scary. In the world of AI, things are changing fast. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing the top data scientist skills that are somewhat AI proof and you should develop to keep up with changing times. In order to keep this video short, I am assuming that you understand the data scientist job family and the required skill set. If you don't understand what a data scientist does, I would suggest you to watch this video that covers data scientist role in a lot more detail. So in order to talk about the skills that you need to continue developing, we need to talk about things that I believe will be automated by AI. First. So there are true primary skills that I believe that will be automated by AI. Now that doesn't mean that you don't need to develop those skills, but that is definitely something you should keep in mind as you work to either become a data scientist or continue evolving in your role as a data scientist. So number one skill that I believe that will be automated with AI is coding. With generative AI and tools such as ChatGPT, BARD, and several other AI coding tools, coding is easier than ever. Yes, those tools do require that you have basic understanding of how to read code, write code, debug code. Yes, all those skills are required, but in the future, coding is one of the skills that will be automated by AI. And specifically when it comes to building a model such as in machine learning, automated ML is already out there where you don't ever have to write your regression code. And some would even say that with automated ML, coding is already taken care of because the automated ML tools require you to drag and drop. There is no coding required to build a model or pick a model and apply it to your data. So we're going to see a lot of that in the rest of the data science work where coding work will be automated by AI. An additional skill that I believe that will be automated in the world of AI, data cleaning, data wrangling, and visualization. Yes, you must be like, data cleaning will never be automated, but honestly, there is going to be a time where AI is able to learn how to clean the data, how to process the data for data analysis. And I'll be honest here, like data cleaning, data wrangling is one of the most time consuming tasks in the data scientist world. And AI is currently already being used to automate some of this work and we're going to see more and more of it. For example, there are AI tools that can automatically identify outliers and remove it and AI tools that automatically create data dictionaries. So we're going to see more and more of that as the role is evolving. So while these two skills that I mentioned will evolve and will become more automated as AI continues to evolve, there are skills that AI will not be able to automate. And the first one of those is problem solving with machine learning and statistics. A big chunk of a data scientist role is to understand the problem, the business problem, have the context, have the domain knowledge, and understand that machine learning and statistics to figure out what models and solutions to use to solve the business problem. Now you must be wondering like automated ML is already there and machine learning and models are already built, coding is already done. So so this should be automated. Actually, that's not true. In order to use the automated ML tools, you actually need to fully understand which model to pick and choose, how to interpret the results, how to translate what the model is telling, how to identify if there are any issues with the model that you selected. You need to have a solid foundational knowledge of machine learning and statistics in order to use automated ML. In the automated ML, who is doing all the drag and drop? It's a human. And as a human, you actually need to have a very good understanding of both of these subjects to be able to use those tools. Yes, the coding element of building a model with automate but the understanding of how to solve a business problem using machine learning, using statistics would still require a human. So in order to continue evolving, I would highly recommend that you continue developing on your foundational knowledge of machine learning and statistics and keep building on it, keep going deeper on it. And another piece of applying the right solutions and right models is the problem solving. A big chunk of problem solving involves interaction with other stakeholders to understand what exactly is the problem. So so unless until all stakeholders are fully well versed in the data science domain, this piece will always be there. Problem solving will always be there. And how to do the problem solving using machine learning and statistics will still require a human understanding, which is you, to be able to solve the problem. There are so many resources available online to continue advancing your skills in both machine learning and statistics. I wanted to share one of the cool machine learning course that my coworker and I recently signed up. Don't ask us if we finished it, but we did sign up, we did pay for it. It's called Machine Learning A to Z Bootcamp on Udemy. <laughs> this bootcamp is created by Udemy, who's also sponsoring this section of the video. This bootcamp specifically teaches in Python R and they recently added an element of AI in this bootcamp, which is 
pretty neat. I love that they were able to catch up quickly uh, and has a chat GPT bonus on it. I'm gonna link it in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Along with this, there are many other resources and courses available on Udemy on the topic of data science, statistics, coding, and much more that you can take in the comfort of your own home. In addition to machine learning A to Z bootcamp, I also wanted to share statistics for data science and business analytics. This is actually a good option if you work with a lot of business stakeholders. Now, I would say that this is a bit more introductory, but there are tons of courses available on Udemy that you can take to advance your statistic knowledge on specific topics, such as probability, causal inference, regression. I'm linking both of these courses in the description below, along with some other options in data science and analytics space. Thank you again, Udemy, for sponsoring this section of the video. Now, let's discuss the second top data scientist skill that will likely not be automated by AI. The second top skills that data scientists need to have in the world of AI is the domain knowledge. Now, this is something that you can't really learn and this is something that comes with experience but in order to solve any problem with data science you need to have a really good domain knowledge in order to apply data science data scientists need to understand business goals and need to be able to have the contacts to be able to solve problems using data science oftentimes data scientists end up working with a lot of stakeholders across the business product as well as engineering Gingering, gingering, <laughs> engineering. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> Not gingering. <laughs> um, so think about it. AI can analyze data. As I said, like data wrangling, data cleaning can be done by AI. But what AI will not be able to do is the human's ability to understand the business context behind the data. So that's where you come in. If you were to ask me, I would say like my domain knowledge is in search engine domains, advertisement, as well as e-commerce. And that is something that I have built over 10 years of experience. Experience. So as you keep growing in your career, keep going in your field, make sure that you are optimizing for domain knowledge. It's okay to like jump between the domain knowledge here and there, but in order to build in-depth knowledge, you have to stay in the domain for a little longer than a few months to be able to understand the domain fully. So keep that in mind as you continue making transition in your career and as you continue building your career ladder. And the last one, which honestly is not a surprise, is communication skills. In order to communicate your work, data scientists need to speak multiple language. They need to speak technical language to technical audience. They need to speak business language to business audience. Now you can say that AI can automate the communication, but AI will not have the domain knowledge and AI will not have the business context that you will have, which gives you an extra edge to be able to communicate your ideas, your work to different audiences, including technical and non-technical stakeholders. Now you can use AI to like generate, simplify concepts, create presentations, but it will never be able to replace your ability to connect with humans. So that's where having solid communication will always be important for data scientists. This is all I wanted to say. What are some other top data scientist skills that you should learn in the age of AI? Let me know in comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.